Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, we're going to show you how to make the Curiously Strong Flasher. This fun project makes use of a key component we salvaged in a previous video, what's inside a disposable camera. See the video link in the description below for more information. This pocket-sized gadget has several possible uses, but I made it just for fun. Let's take a closer look. It's always fun to see what you can jam inside an Altoids tin, and for this project I used solder, wire, the Altoids tin, that disposable camera circuit, and a couple of switches. Let's take a little bit of a sneak peek at what this whole thing is going to look like on the inside, once you've got it all put together. I put both switches on one end of the can, and on the back side I made an opening for the Xenon flash tube. You can see that everything fits on the inside quite nicely with plenty of room to spare. The first thing I did was figure out how everything is going to lay out. I made two openings, one for the push button momentary switch, and one for the power switch, also for the camera flash unit. You can see in the pictures where I soldered the wires for the main power switch. This is connected to the button that was used on the camera to charge the flash, and the push button switch was wired into the two contacts that were used by the camera to activate the flash. I actually used a non-conductive foam paper from a craft store to work as a barrier between the tin and all circuitry. Once I had the circuit board and switches in place, I made a little hole in the top of the tin right over the spot where the ready light would be. And that's where I put the camera's magnifying lens for the ready light so that I could tell when the whole thing was put together when the flash was ready to use. Before closing it up, I added a little bit of hot glue to keep any potential loose pieces from moving around. With our battery back in place, it's time to flip on the power switch and wait for that ready light to let us know that the flash is fully charged. Pressing the push button will complete the circuit and allow the flash to discharge. Now let's slow it down a little bit and take a look at those two flashes again. If you have some fun ideas for how you'd use a device like this, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.